Hey there, I'm John. And welcome to Modded Wheeze and You, your one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded Nintendo Wii. Today we'll be going over how to install and set up Nintendo, a homebrew application designed to allow you to run Nintendo GameCube games on your Wii regardless of if it's natively supported or not. So without any further introduction, let's move on to the installation. First things first, you'll want to head over to the link in the description for Nintendo's GitHub page. From there, you're going to want to scroll down to the Quick Installation section. Click on the Loader.dol link to download it. Then right-click both the Meta.xml and Icon PNG, and choose the option for Save Link As. They should already be under the correct name and file type, so just click Save on the pop-up window. If you're installing Nintendo on the original Wii, open the apps folder on your SD card and create a new folder titled Nintendo. Then copy the meta.xml and loader.dol to your newly created folder. Once copied, go in and rename the loader.dol to boot.dol, at which point your SD card is ready for use on the console. As for installing on the Wii U side of things, head into the apps folder on your Wii U's SD card, then create a new folder called Nintendo. Copy over the icon PNG, loader DOL, and meta.xml to your newly created Nintendo folder, and once again rename the loader.dol to boot.dol. When using Nintendo on the Wii U, you'll either need an OEM or Mayflash GameCube controller adapter. Links to both in the description down below. If you want to load game backups from your external storage medium, Create a new folder on the root of your storage device and title it Games, all lowercase. Then create a folder for the game you wish to copy inside of the Games folder. Verify that the game's ISO file is titled Game and is in the .iso format. If not, be sure to rename the file. Once complete, you can now eject your SD card and head on over to the console. When on the console, open the Homebrew channel and load Nintendo. From this screen, choose where you'd like to load your games from. In this case, it'll be on the SD card. If you're on the original Model Wii, you can also load your games from the disk drive. Otherwise, the title saved on your selected storage device will show up here. If you don't want to use a physical GameCube memory card or using Nintendo on the Wii U, you'll need to head into Settings and turn on Memory Card Emulation. This will allow you to save your games without needing a physical memory card connected to the console at which point you can start playing GameCube games on your Wii or Wii U. If you're using USB Loader GX, you can use it to copy your discs as well as change Nintendo settings all from within USB Loader. Just make sure that your main GameCube path is set to your external storage's games folder, at which point you can insert your GameCube disc and copy it to your storage medium. You can also download the covers for any GameCube title as well. If you want to access the Nintendo settings, just click on the game you want to update the boot options for and select Settings. Then scroll down to the Nintendo section. From there, you can access all the features normally found within Nintendo. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment down below any homebrew applications you'd like to see covered. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos from the network. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.